All right, now to deal with the much more intimidating part of this concept, which isn't all the vilest we got to fight or the crack and which apparently happened. Uh, it's the suicide pact part. What the fuck is gonna happen here? I have a real story to end soon. What do you, I can't die here? So what the fuck? Well, I don't know. Uh, don't die, please. Save. Just out of curiosity. But yeah, I would hope that we don't die. An enormous crystal juts from the wall like a spearhead protruding from a wound. An army of reflection stares back at you from the crystal's perfect facets. It echoes the sound of your footsteps and soft, ringing hums. Me do this. I've spent so long regretting my choices. It would be good to balance the scales. Let me do this, says Maneha. Someone will have to take up Abaddon's hammer and strike the crystal, and Andra warned that whoever does so will be buried in this place with the eyeless. I'm picking someone to kill. <sighs> I'm concerned. What the fuck happens when if I choose myself? Am I actually sacrificing someone here? Like does the game does the story end if I sacrifice myself or are there skill checks where I can still try to escape? Why can't I just summon one of the ogres and be like, "Yo, do me a favor." <laughs> Draw lots. It's fair in a way, I suppose. I don't want Maneha to die. Hmm. Whoever gets left behind is going to be at a risk of being buried. It's probably gonna have to be my character. Is it? Where is my? Where? Oh, there it is. What's that? Frither's plated greaves. Oh yeah, we got that from the other place a moment ago. Plus five percent armor speed penalty. What? I don't like that. <laughs> that gives you some dr and a chance to sometimes do wild sprint. Hmm. It actually hurts my constitution, which is not great. So I'm gonna go for a bad swim. I'm gonna want constitution for the ice. 
But yeah, I, I figured they gave me a diving helmet. Maybe I can escape the drowning that comes from that with that. I'm kind of hedging my bets in a few different directions here. Resolve and might, sure. But I'm hoping for like a bunch of constitution. Darkest Rawatai cookies. That's something. It's unfortunate to have to look through items in this in this manner. Hmm. <clears throat> Lots of other bonuses. I think the cookie might be the best constitution bonus. Nope. Not even the vital essence. Youthful spirit is athletics. No. This cookie's probably the best we can do. Move. It's the same cookies from earlier in the story, actually. Alright, we're we'll hope for the best. We'll see what happens. If Yaskier dies, then it's like, oh, I guess it's the end of the playthrough, the end. <laughs> no, we'll have to come up with something else. Me do this. Yourself. You have led us bravely. It has been an honor to follow your lead. I'm gonna die. Gods really have it in for you. I wish they knew you like I did. Straight into the fire, then. Your chances aren't favorable. But at least you've learned to embrace the test. I told you I'd be good for you, Watcher. For a brave soul. Wish I'd met you sooner. You have to hammer and swing it at the crystal. A perfect, clear tone rings through the air and resonates through your teeth. Seconds later, ripples shiver through the water. Something big is coming. I forgot to eat the cookie. Fuck. <laughs> You give the others a final nod. The rest of the party scrambles out of the flooded cavern and flees through the tunnels. You continue hammering at the crystal each strike, magnifying the last. The echoes build into, into physical tremors. Meanwhile, a heavier rhythm pulses through the cave. Footsteps. Dozens of them. The others are around a corner only to see a line of eyeless advancing. The creatures stagger to the rhythm of the hammer thuds below. Yet they crane their necks towards the party, rat uh, ratcheting back their piston arms. Repulsing seal? Consider who will cast it. Well, the person who has it, Durance. A glowing seal blooms from the ground. The first two eyeless step onto it and fall backwards, taking most of those with them. Dodge past. The party sprints past the distracted monsters. Fortunately, the creatures are too focused on the hammering to give chase. They continue towards the cavern. You maintain a steady tempo on the crystal. Eyeless gather in the cavern, where they batter the walls in time with the hammer's rhythmic bl uh, blows. The ground shakes, falling rocks and shattering crystals splash into the ground. The party flees through dark, rumbling corridors. More spellbound eyeless shamble along, but they're too entranced by the swelling cadence to take more than an idle swipe at the party. The tunnel narrows. Light filters through ahead. The exit must be around the, the next bend. <clears throat> but it's clogged with rubble. Meanwhile, the ground drops several feet at once, and the tunnel begins rolling on its axis. 
The distant sound of rushing water echoes from the cavern. Frenzy. Go, Maneha. Consider who will do it. Well, there's only one. Fury descends and fills Maneha's body with desperate, violent strength. Maneha bashes a path through the rubble. The moon shudders again. The party escapes into the ice just as another thunderous crash sounds from below. Eyeless continue pouring into the cavern with every visible tunnel and crevice. Your ears ring at the ever-growing cacophony of smashing rocks and shattering crystal. Meanwhile, the water level is rising. A skull-splitting crack rends the air, and a surge of water knocks you from your feet. The entire cavern rotates, plunging you into a freezing soup of jagged metal, torn flesh and stone. You thrash in the dark water until the cold locks your muscles. You can't tell from up from down, and all around you feel the sharp, slick angles of stone. You are trapped. Constitution 19. Your lungs begin to burn, and your limbs go numb. At least your death will save the rest of Aeor from the eyeless. One day there will be songs about you. Perhaps feast day is in your name. Maybe. Your reflexes take over, and you convulse, swallowing a mouthful of icy water. You perish in agony. Jesus. As the fragment of Ioni Brother crumbled around you, it pulled you into the frigid depths of Karen's scar. You died, secure in the knowledge that the threat of the Eyeless died with you. Roll credits. Son of a bitch. Yeah, you actually died that way. Well. Fuck. All right. I th I'm a little annoyed that I wore a mask. Hmm. Why did the mask not work? We could try a different variation. Just to toy with it, see what happens. Let's see. I wonder if it needs to be in my inventory for it to even check the presence in the yeah. first place. And also let's actually cook let's actually eat my cookie this time. And see how this goes. Let me do this. Myself. Let us break. You're a Repulsing seal. Yeah, this party is definitely able to get out on their own, so that's that's good at least. What? Whoops. Whoops. Uh. BRB, closing game to reload to I accidentally skip dialogue that I think was new. Whoops. So I must have, that must have changed something. All right. All right, we're back to it. They're splashing. Party fleece the darkness. Frenzy. Maneha. Maneha bashes a path through the rubble. The moon shudders again. The party escapes under the ice just as another thunderous crash sounds from below. Islets continue pouring into the cavern from every visible tunnel and crevice. Your ears ring at the ever growing cacophony of smashing rock and shattering crystal. Meanwhile, the water level is rising. Skull splitting crack rends the air, and a surge of water knocks you from your feet. The entire cavern rotates, plunging you into a freezing soup of jagged metal, torn flesh and stone. 
The others dash across the lake. Yeah, this is this didn't happen last time. Maybe maybe I haven't died yet. But that's turns out there actually wasn't any new dialogue. I could have just read that slide. Whoops. The others dash across the lake. The ice squeals and cracks, rocking dangerously underfoot. The sinking moon groans. Long fissures race across the ice. Scout for a more stable place to cross, or keep running. Uh, scouting's worrying because it could just go very poorly. Hmm. I have no idea who would have that ability or not. Try it? The surface of the ice is riddled with cracks. Only someone who knows what to look for can find safe passage. Ah. Uh, so I need a Sagani? Who will go? Fuck. I can't believe those are all abilities I don't have. It's so many options. Who has... <sighs> Uh, I wish I could see people's stats right now. Who has high perception in this group? I have no idea. Maneha? Maneha leads the way across the ice. All seems well until the party is halfway to shore. The ice breaks without warning, dumping everyone into the freezing lake. They climb out, numb and trembling. At last, everyone reaches the safety of the shore. Oh, I guess I, I guess they're fine then. Just it was just a close call. In the middle of the lake, only the tip of the moon is still visible above the ice. The survivors watch in silence as it sinks into the depths. You trudged. Hey, they are using the diving helmet. So like wearing it on my character seems to have glitched it out, but putting it in my inventory then uses the helmet. You trudge through the rubble at the lake bottom. The water is freezing. The air in the diving helmet is acrid, and the sound of your own breathing roars in your ears. Still, it's better than drowning. You navigate out of the settle settling rubble and see the ghastly light of the surface above. At last, you reach the shadows. shallows. You punch through a thin crust of ice and crawl ashore, trembling but alive. Huh. It seems suspicious like I only died the first time because of a glitch. Like, I, I even thought to use the helmet, and they just didn't use it. But then this time they did. Which is strange. But okay. Still, glad we made it. Glad we didn't have to sacrifice anybody permanently. You stand at the edge of the lake. The bobbing of the ice and the rippling of the water's surface slows until you're looking at a moment frozen in time. When the world begins to move once more, it moves in reverse. What? Ah, uh, that's not good. The surface of the water churns and roils like it's about to spew something up. And it does. The fragment of Ioni Brother rises unbroken. Ice reforms across the surface of the lake, spreading in long, freezing fingers. Eyeless file out of the moon fragment and onto the ice. They wind around the moon in an ever-widening spiral. Are they walking backwards too? They stop as the head of their line reaches you. They speak in a single voice that resonates with grinding metal and hissing steam. We shatter and sink, discarded like worn tools. Why have you consigned us to oblivion? Oh. Hmm. I wasn't expecting to have to apologize to them, basically. You would have destroyed Kadnua, Durgan's battery, and more. Their protest is as sharp and sque as as sharp as squealing metal. Blasphemy! These are jewels of civilization. They are sacred. 
We would sooner sacrifice our own bodies than dislodge a single stone from such a place. Why do you torment us with baseless accusations? Andra changed you from a preserver to a destroyer. The eyeless are still, but you hear their gears whir as they collect as their collective spirit ponders this. Then we were betrayed. Yes, you were transformed against your will. And we were made to betray something we cherish. You feel their bitter agony like a hammer strike. The legacy of the Anguithans, you mean? The bedrock of civilization. Suddenly they attack the ice beneath them, slicing and shattering it with mighty swings from their iron arms. And where the ice breaks, ancient towers rise, blotting out the blue sky and white peaks. Andra wanted Anguithan civilization forgotten. Better for her tides to ebb and her seas to dry up than to cover a single stone the Anguithans laid. The ice shakes with the fury of the eyeless. Each culture builds on the bones of the last. Yet many only look up at where they would go, never down at the foundations that bear them. Like a mason who builds a listing tower. The remaining ice sheet cracks and groans. What peril do they inflict on their progeny? And what dishonor on their forebears? You hear the strain of crumbling stone in the voice of the eyeless. You think it unwise to forget the past. It is unwise to douse a lamp in darkness, to cut the legs from a table. This forgetting is suicide, heresy. Every advance in the crafts and institutions of Kith was forged by skill and sacrifice. You feel these words and the anger behind them in your bones. A people cut off from their history will wither, and they deserve no less. Then what do you suggest? To pull the blinders from the eyes of gods and kith. That is why we must return to ourself and restore Abidon. Oh, there's a lot going on here. What do you mean about returning to yourself? When Ioni Brotha fell, Abidon lost much. His will to preserve, the memory of how and why he died. But he built us with fragments of his own soul. In returning, we can restore what was taken from him. Very well. Return to yourself, and be the god of preservation once more. We shall see this world and its people restored. A great wind shoves at your back. Your ears pop, and you feel for a moment as if all of the air is being sucked from the sky. Suddenly, it ends. And you are standing in the snow, looking over Karen's scar. The Eyeless disappeared beneath the lake, their bond to Andra finally severed. With this threat ended, hope returned to the White March. Hunters returned to the wildernesses, and travelers to the roads. Tales of the Watcher's bravery replaced stories of monsters in the woods. The villagers of Stalwart busied their hands with work and their tongues with song eager to seize on the promise of peace. That was brief. Oh. 
So that's all all at once. One second full of interrupt, which is pretty good. It's bound to my... It fits my weapon type. Plus four might. Once per encounter, Ring of the Ancient Forge. So I gain two hammer attacks. Mythic, 18 accuracy, 65% damage. Abaddon's power on critical hit. Foe target only against vessels. Prone for five seconds. Huh. Vessel only is a bummer. Echo of the Maker, passive. Vessel, all vessels are just frightened around me by default. That's interesting. That seems like strong shit. He's so torn between these choices now. Well, he's got options to switch between now, I suppose. Abaddon's ha- uh, Yeah, they're both slow. Abaddon's hammer has higher damage now. And more might. But this has 5 DR bypass. Hmm. So this one can summon random things, but this one's... This one's mythic. And has plus 4 might, which is crazy. What is his might stat? 20. God damn. 20, 18, 14, 11, 19, 16. What an overpowered ass character. Tr beyond reasonableness. And hey, he lived. Just need this dumb helmet in my inventory. That was a secret all along. Kind of annoyed that I died at all, actually. Unless the cookie did make a difference. There was a constitution check. I just don't know if the constitution check was completely nullified by the existence of... Uh... I don't know if the constitution check was completely nullified by the existence of my, uh... Helmet or what? Because that whole scene just didn't happen. That killed me the first time. The Lago Faith is still here. I figure I should still check out what's over here. Although it's such a, it's such a climactic, important location that I'm not necessarily convinced that they will even have. Any kind of fun- Okay, melee fighters. Fucking get, get over it. <laughs> you weird idiots. <laughs> They all got stuck single file on one of their allies and couldn't get around them. You guys are a mess. Oh my goodness. Right. Tell me. Hmm. Do I get more context for what I just did? The Forgotten Army. The White Forge has been restored thanks to your efforts in the White March. I escaped the lair of the Eyeless as they died. And as they died, their souls left their bodies. I was able to speak with them. They are fragments of the soul of Abaddon himself. I decided to allow them to return to their master, so he might remember the past, and that he, he was once the god of preservation. What consequence will there be for that, though? Just curious what exactly I've done by doing that. Maybe it'll come up while I'm trying to leave. Cause I'm still a bit curious. I don't know. I didn't like Andra very much or any or any of her ideas that much, so I'm not that bothered by spiting her. She kinda comes across as a shitty opportunist in that uh Abaddon died saving a city and she took the the chance to wipe his memories and turn him into a, a weird matrix of slaves I'm sure all gods can have problems in their own ways when they're taken to extremes which they exclusively are. Being an extreme is basically all they do. So we'll see. Yaskier says, ouchies. Wow, everyone is paralyzed right now. Yaskier, go the right way around. I'm never gonna get to combat again. Everyone's just stuck right now. They can't reach the fight. Where is the fight? Are we fighting still? Oh fuck, where'd he come from? Get him now. 
We need to take a nap or we'll die. It's still a pretty great item. How did the... Interrupter point seven. Yes, yeah, so this, this is uh, my longest interrupt so far, too. And it fits my character build in that it's the weapon I already learned how to specialize in, so that's probably helpful. Riches beyond compare, they said. I need to rest. <laughs> These poor characters. So many of them were in the red at that point. That's definitely one places. Uh oh. Ah! Oh, and it was an infestation of spiders that just straight up missed. That's funny. It's an Andronite shrine. This will start off with helping a mining colony get their mojo back. And it, 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 it went places from there. <laughs> It definitely did. Oh, they have cats and dogs working together. What an impossible, insane situation. I, I'll never be able to reconcile this crazy. Okay, Aloth's in deep shit right now. Ah, oh, he's dead. God damn, they focused him hard. And shout. And now Durance is dead. Holy fuck. Oh, M Master Diamato. So this is some sort of special... Wait. There's so many quests. Uh... Kilfoyama, Matt Captain... No, maybe not. No. I was just, I was curious that there might be, this might be a, a bounty. But no, he just seems to be some kind of ridiculous badass that's causing me all sorts of mayhem and bad news. Shit. Pelagina, help her. She's doing a die. Make her not die, please. Okay. I think, I think the big guy finally went down. I think we can make this work now. But it's not great. Oh, there we go. Whew. I thought they were just kind of some randos. Right. I wasn't I wasn't expecting it to get that out of hand. That got bad. 20 concentration to resolve. Ooh. One one item to not be so quickly dismissed. Yep. That is Oh, that's a, oh, it's a skeleton hand. I thought it was a giant fucking spider at first. Cold water drips from the roof of this yurt and puddles in the heat hearth. Someone carving a swirling crescent into the bench. Ah, more cramping. Fish bones lie among the coals. This yurt yeeks of stale sweat. There's only one bedroll inside. The yurt's empty but for a few heavy bedrolls. Alright, so it seems exploring in this direction isn't the most useful endeavor. It's I'm mostly just uncovering that there's just a lot of Andronites around here. Worshipping the Kraken. Happy to attack anyone that walks by, which is me. Hooray. I'm so good at making friends. Well, I've killed them all now, so... You're welcome, Andronites. That was definitely an experience. So this expansion added... Whitestone Hollow, Abbey of the Fallen Moon, Iron Fl Flail Fort, and Karen's Scar... ...to the list. So, yeah, four zones per expansion, I guess. Because we already had the Russet Wood, Stalwart, Long, Long Watch, and the Durgan's Battery. I guess we got Durgan's Battery. I didn't mean to follow up on the Fisher quest. He just kind of... I wasn't planning on blackmailing him for being a drug addict, basically. 
But then it turned out that he murdered his family. And I had to... I had to accuse him of that. So at this point, I've kind of... I end up doing Galvino's bidding, but just not for the reasons he meant for that to happen, because... He just want he just hated that guy and wanted to go after him for his drug habit. Durance, do you take anything seriously? Or is the entire world just a setup for your idiotic punchlines? The world is the punchline, Birdwoman. In all its weakness. Would you kill the messenger? If he were as annoying as you, I'd consider it. Uh, Durance would love the movie Joker. <laughs> That's not really a compliment. <laughs> Turns out my life's a comedy. <laughs> God, how many items are white now? I have two separate two-handed white items. My hat and my armor. Yeah, those are all the ones I can enchant. Funnily, I just removed Devil of Karak from the party because it seemed like Palagina would be useful, and she was. But it occurs to me that Devil of Karak might have been completely immune to the, to the consequences of that final quest. Because she doesn't have to breathe. She doesn't even need the helmet. She could just be like, Hi, I'm a robot, remember? I just... I don't know. Broke the whole place, but then came out, and it was fine. Oh, Galvino had a whole dungeon between me and him. I forgot. I have to like awkwardly figure out how to get back to him again. Eh. I hope, hopefully all the traps are gone. You should have let them destroy it. Galvino folds his arms, fuming. Now all I hear are clanking hammers and clattering wagons. So many people back and forth between the battery. I cannot work, cannot sleep. I came here to get away from these postenagos. I have news about Grind. Yes? Does the sniveling cur hide in his home? Or has he been exiled to a place even more frigid and foul? He claps his hands together in excitement. I learned that he murdered his sister. Diverus! The man is even more of a wretch than I thought! His face glows with macabre delight. What of him now? Surely the villagers string him up with his own fishing line. <laughs> He's leaving town with his tail tucked between his legs. Perfetto! Oh, I only wish I could have seen it. His broad smile exposes rows of yellowing teeth. I will open a good wine tonight. As for you, take this. Two potions and a mountain of experience. Farewell. Mm. Just a bit of follow-up. Not a lot of importance there, necessarily. But it's something. Oh no. Oh no, I'm back to learning a significant amount of my money. I'm back to a lot of my money being lost to... Antagonists. Those raiders. The glass tree. There are still more of these. Legends have spread about a hidden valley in the living lands, where fantastic creatures are born straight out of the earth, and new plants, plants sprout and bloom every day. Some claim the place is sacred to the gods themselves, where they created old kith and wilder out of the primordial elements that churn just under the surface. Many of the tales describe a breathtaking enormous glass tree with branches that reach across the valley and up to the clouds. They say its base is guarded by a foreboding, helmed warrior clad head to toe in glittering armor. Hmm. Enjoy your drug quest, Zawa. <laughs> Did 
Take all the drugs and solve all the mysteries. I believe in you. Your peyote fueled spirit journey. You're the chosen one now. You can do anything except save your people. We're done with that. Sure. You'll do all these crazy magical quests that other people are talking about, but saving your people? Eh. Nah. How about we haul ass back to Stalwart? I think that's it. I think we've by and large defeated the White March Part 2. Gotta say, they're gonna run out of gods unless they make up new ones. Because we seem to keep interacting with so many of them. That's the sort of thing that came up a bit in uh, Dragon Age Inquisition and Dragon Age as a series in general, too, I suppose. It's just this this general feeling of like, wow, I'm fucking important, aren't I? <laughs> I seem to be able to meet like the basic elements of how the whole universe works around me. That's impressive. Teal Door, Rayfald. Who else would I want to talk to? I'll, be, I'll get to you, Durin. When I get when I get between episodes, probably one time to sell a lot of items. How's Star Wars doing these days? We've rebuilt. The Western Palisade is fixed. And some fancy merchant set up shop where Katie's house used to be. We never. We also got a proper temple to Abaddon again. Never understood why the internet stuck. Or, yeah, we've read this before. Yeah. Well, this is weird. It's almost like no one cares. How's that blade going, by the way? Yeah, it's gonna take a bit. Hard to do a lot of damage with it. The costs keep getting higher, but the power keeps getting lower. So each tier just takes longer. I told Tarfos we should post guards at the gate. Keep an eye on who's coming in. Is that it? Is, is the whole campaign just over? I mean, I'm, I'm out of quests. Blazes. What am I to do with all of these? A well-built well dwarven woman stands before you, one hand on her head and the other holding a few sheets of paper. Three complaints of blights at Watts, Whitestone Hollow. And who are these people? Magrun's faithful? Great, another pack of religious zealots. It's like they're popping up out of the snow these days. Oh, sorry. Just a little preoccupied. Things have quieted down some with the ogres lately, but there's still no shortage of new trouble or work for those interested. You mentioned blights? The Terror of Whitestone Hollow. It's a grand blight that turned up after the avalanche. Real disaster. That... A great big heap of snow. We're on top of one of our main trade routes. We can't start fixing the roads until we get the blights out of there. Can't exactly ask you to bring back the thing's head, but word is that the terror's last victim was a caravan master. Turns out the fellow always wore a certain brooch. Figure it's somewhere in the monstrosity's belly. Bring me that brooch and I'll take it as proof you handled the blight. Sound fair? Uh, these, these sound like they're just more... headhunts. More bounties. I'm kind of over those. I'm kind of ready to wrap up. Who are Magrun's faithful? Bandits and horse thieves, as far as I can tell. Led by a woman named Rodwith. Problem is, their little group keeps growing. 
and they've started tearing through some of the smaller villages. They were last spotted by Searing Falls, and rumor is that they're headed in our direction. Stalwart's just getting its bearings. We can't afford this kind of trouble. Bring me Rode with his head, and I'll see you a little richer for it. Yeah. That's why they're ranked as tasks. Yeah, yep, those are bounties. There's so many bounties left. I, I kind of don't care. I think I'm ready to just bleh, ignore this entire menu. It's a battle of Ren Yenwood Field, unless I can find anything else going on around here. This is it. Huh? We're getting pretty late here. It's going to be Battle of Yenwood Field, followed by... Whoa, that's a corpse. Captain Ogney. A few town guards stand arrayed around a sprawled corpse. One of them turns as you approach, giving you a nod. You've got an uncanny sense of timing, Lord Yaskier. This one here's been after you all day. That sounds familiar. Eloth slowly turns its head to regard you. That's me, very popular with the dead. Right. Agni gives you a confused look, then shrugs. Not sure popular is the word. Seems like she's had it out for you. She got nervous in a hurry when we happened by. Nearly took Royal's head off. Assassins aren't exactly out of the ordinary for me. I'll bet. Well, I'd suggest having a look at what she was carrying. See if you'd recognize anything. Mneha raises an eyebrow. You might have mentioned that before. Examine the assassin. What the hell happened here? A woman's cooling corpse lies half buried in the snow. The cause of death is clear, a narrow wound just under the throat. The essence of her is already faint and fading fast. Reach out. You plunge into a cold darkness. Scattered images sliding past before you can grasp more than an echo. And then, light. Sunlight filters down through gaps in the canopy, illuminating short stretches in the bog. Mug and knee-deep water foul each step. Your legs are already tired, and you've barely started. You must resign yourself to discomfort. You'll come to the river soon enough. Follow it as it bends north. It is a mantra in your thoughts. Reach Stoltwort. Find the Watcher. Follow him. Retrieve the phylactery. Consulhat's killer will not fall easily. But if you are careful, the task will not fall to you alone. Your master will deal with the Watcher. It is only a matter of time. Ooh. The memory slips away, returning to you the familiar sight of Stoltwort Village. Perhaps stirred into flight by your perusal, the soul essence begins to dissipate, fading from your sight. The memory of the dead woman's journey lingers with you, however. To the southwest, beyond the White March, there lies a bog, and an enemy awaits you there. We're not done here. Hmm. Southwest Wilds. Interesting. So while we're done with this storyline involving the Forge and Abaddon and so on, we specifically are now being sought after. Hmm. I think I'm about ready to put Palagina back out of the party. She had a, a use with those vessels, but now I'm over, I'm just back to being like, ah, it's too many melee people. There's a problem. So let's let's switch her back out. So the thing I did right before this expansion is actually what's coming after me. Council Hut. I killed him, and now they're after the Flactory. There's follow up. Back to warm your hands, eh? What can I do for you? One last dying gasp of the expansion, I suppose. Cores. 
Well, this will be interesting. Let's rest first. Not the most badass assassin, are they? They do all this only to get killed by some guards and reveal themselves to me by making themselves so easy to track. There we go. Just got turned back on her attack mode. Otherwise, she'll make mistakes. I was tempted to remove Maneha, but I still want to see what happens when I finish her weapon journey. I wish I'd kept it on her before. I just had the option to switch to something good. But I could have done both. That's what dual wielding's for. They said the southwest. Any more dialogue though from Agni? Nope. Absolutely not. Mao Maur Gek Yen. A whole new zone. And with that, I guess we're done with the white that wends. We're go we're returning to the Deerwood. Oh, this place is different. There was a, a like a whole zone depending on me finding that quest. Comes as a surprise. Seek out your enemy. Such plentiful herbs. Mmm. Yes. That I don't really use, but here they are. <laughs> you never know. Any random item you find could come up in a quest at some point. They just don't tend to. A will-o'-wisp. They tend to be tricksy. What am I supposed to do now? I don't know, die in the swamp. Damn him, that... She turns towards you and promptly jumps in surprise. Blazes, where did you come from? Haven't you seen another soul on the road for a day at least? Not much of a road. You're telling me. We were following the lamps, we thought. But one wrong push and the cart goes headlong into the muck. All I need is for Benno to come stomping right on back. We're late enough as it is. The last thing I need is his damn tantrums. What happened to Benno? What didn't happen? He's a spiteful crab most days, but out here, he's been downright intolerable. He got real sour face when the car tipped over, decided to storm off in a huff. Now I'm stuck here waiting for him. Word of advice, if you ever find yourself in the trading business, keep it in the family. I could try to find him. I'd appreciate it. You bring that stubborn goat back, and I'll set aside some coin for you. Benno. I get the feeling that his current situation might not be Ben A. Haha, <laughs> because he probably died in the, in the swamp. Gaps between the stones reveal a hollow space lined with bird's nests. Ah, oh, neat. That's neat. This is a change of pace. A bog bat. Oh yeah. A variation of the things we've been dealing with lately. At this camera angle, it's always easier to ident identify them as being little worms than bats, though. Yeah, they got big ol' ears. Just always a little hard to make much of anything out from here. Steadfast. Oh, it's Manet has other weapons, leveling up. She finally got five critical kills. 
So now she has to do 200 damage to enemies when she has 75% endurance. Or just 1,000 damage in general. She can probably maintain the endurance just fine. Immune to Frightened. I guess that would stand to reason that it's called Steadfast. That's it. I think her last rule is a little harder to do, and these, this, these next ones might go a little faster. The plumes of gas ejected by these vents have a strong acrid odor. But I'm definitely a little worried. We're running out of game, so I really want these... I really want her weapons to finish up already. Hey, you! I need help! Is that him? What was his name? Benno. Hey! There we go. This man is half obscured by the riot of lights and sigils emerging from the mud around him. He brings up an arm to shield his eyes, peering out at you. Are you one of them? You don't look like some mad bog cultist. He looks behind you, searching. Are you Benno? What? Yeah, that's me. How did... Wait, did Herla send you? Ha, huh, I knew she couldn't be entirely useless. Uh, you all are just rude to each other. Look, help me out. I've been stuck here for ages. This thing's some kind of wall. It's got to be some kind of spell, right? I don't know what the first thing about magic. He presses his palms against what seems to be thin air to demonstrate. Hmm, I can't solve it because I'm not a wizard, but I have a wizard in my party. Let me ask you something first. What? What do you want to know? I'm stuck. Captive audience for your questions, I guess. Do you feel any strange effects? No, well... There's this whispering, I guess. I thought it was just one of... Just more of those wizard types. He shifts uncomfortably. I'll have a look around. Great. Thank you for this. You won't regret it. Find a way to free Benno. It's, it's quite a light show. What is happening here? And what does the flame reveal? Let's try some sneak mode. Just see if I can discover anything. With our incredible perceptive capabilities. What was Manea's perception, by the way? Twelve. Twelve. Devil of Carrick would have been great if she was there, which she wasn't. Okay, yeah. Everybody had garbage perception for when I had tried to do that scouting. It was just all around a failure. That's a bummer. It's just not the kind of people I brought along. You never know what you'll need, I guess. It's hard to have a well-rounded group of well-balanced stats. Because you also turn around and want to, like, switch out your characters at random and could try out different quest lines and so on. If I have if I had six characters total, I could fine-tune their stats so that everyone has a specialty. And that's what I was starting off with when I first started playing the game. But over time, you just... You want to be like, well, what if I want that character and that character? It's like, well, they both specialize in lockpicking. Well, that's too bad. I want them together. And then other times it's like, ah, none of my lockpick lockpickers are in the party. I've made a whole new mistake. And the parrot, the, the minor struggle continues. <laughs>